everybody welcome back to sport bike man so today is a beautiful day outside we're in the 70s i mean i'm able to wear shorts short sleeve and still be hot so thank god but in a positive note we hit over 300 subscribers and it's thanks to everybody who subscribes to the channel i know uh my skills ain't the best i know my topics ain't the best I wish I was able to do more racing with other people to make it more epic or make at least a storyline to keep people involved. But uh, at least, you know, we made it this far. Uh, my goal is to hit a thousand subscribers, get monetized, you know the deal. Um, the good news too is the bike is gonna get dyno tuned. It's gonna get dyno tuned. So it's gonna get dyno tuned and it's gonna get race fuel dyno tuned too and then uh i got i think i got my quick shift to work in i was talking to uh dyno jet for a bit so talking to dyno jet for a bit and uh they helped me out with the settings so yeah they helped me out with the settings uh because i left it on stock settings when i installed everything and i did not know uh that i needed to change my settings but anyways so i watched it on uh, stg and stg had it where he said you know leave it on the stock settings don't mess with it because you can mess it up which you know i gave him the credit for that yeah and when i mean stg sporttrackgear.com so if you watch his videos he'll tell you you know leave it in stock settings so um yeah uh they told me no don't do that not for your bike every bike is going to be different so if you get a quick shifter through power commander and you get all the stuff that you need you're going to need uh, to talk to them and see what settings you're going to need for your bike um so right now we got the quick shifter working the thing is so it was working it, it was just working like in the 8,000 rpm 7,000 6,000 so i showed right now it's going to work so it works it's just not working um with um going any higher in the rpm so when i go to 10,000 rpms it did not want to shift at all so we got all that figured out uh hopefully because if not then uh um either way the bike is going to go uh dyno tuning and he said he can uh make adjustments to it don't get me wrong it ain't free but as long as it works because i needed it to work so i can go racing uh i raced against two hayabusas i beat them so i beat the hayabusas but don't get me wrong the hayabusas were fast now then the problem with the hayabusas there's so much torque that they're stuck doing a burnout in second gear and i'm just i'm out and if i do do a little tiny burnout it still doesn't compare to what they got so there's a difference between us both so yeah um so yeah don't get me wrong higher boosters are still fast is if, if they had better tires or a better setup they could have beat me oh man this is gonna be traffic but it's all right because I'm, I'm not planning to really act up i just want to motor vlog um but yeah I, I beat the two high boosters but don't get me wrong i'm not gonna i'm not gonna crap on them because again uh it, it's it's they're, they're not they weren't able to grip so it was cheap tires or whatever tires they got it was not good tires uh and i won't talk bad about their bikes or them as a rider because again sometimes the setups for the bikes are just not good it's just that simple you you didn't set it up for for what it needed to be uh and, and a lot of times is we go cheap on parts and the, when we go cheap on parts and that's that's the primary example you it, it you get problems so he's gonna get a more of an expensive tire uh, a softer compound and uh that day was pretty chilly out so i also say both of our tires were cold but i have the pirelli uh diablo rosa threes they're the more expensive ones compared to what he had now he if he really wanted to he can go for the super courses now those are really racing tires 
but those need those require to be warmed up even more compared to the tires that i'm running i don't know why how the compound works but that's what they all say that you want tire warmers for the super courses i have tire warmers so i can cheat so if they really wanted to have a real race which after the dyno tuning if i beat them without the dyno tuning imagine with the dyno tuning plus imagine with the mr12 so the dyno tuning we're going to do is going to be the 93 octane and that's going to be for circuit racing and then drag racing i'm going to use the mr12 so that's what we're going to do uh <clears throat> april 28th is the set set date for the dyno tuning now i'm trying to see if my stepdad would do will help me out but i called him up he said he might not be able to so i got to find a way to get that that done uh probably ask a friend or or or, or rent a rent a truck out uh with a u-haul and uh get that taken care of because to me that that's my dream always been my dream to get a, a, a racing either racing car or racing bike and guess what to be honest i'm there with the bike with all the aftermarket parts it's, it's a racing bike it's legit oh there's cops i gotta be i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna uh go fast because there's cops everywhere just because they know it's 70 degrees out and i'm not trying to get my license taken away i just got it so i'm gonna i'm gonna chill out i'm gonna chill out and relax and just enjoy the day but yeah um so it's gonna get dino tuning for the 93 octane that's gonna be for circuit racing and then we're gonna do also um the mr12 is for drag racing and I have the map switch that I can switch between both maps. Now the guy who's gonna do my dyno tuning is super cool. And I think it's Ken's performance. And uh, when he gets the, when we do the dyno tuning and I do the, cause I'm gonna, he's, he's gonna let me uh, record it. He's gonna let me record it. Once I record it, I'll be able to give a, a big shout out to his shop and to his peoples cause they're, he's really cool. Uh, he even said, you know, I can always come back and um, we, we can tune things even more don't get me wrong it ain't free but he said we can we can tweak it as we go along and, and get it much faster now the problem that he did say that i have is when i got my ecu flashed i i don't have a rev limiter we took it out so i can go into the 14,000 uh 14,000 to 15,000 rpms which is that red line he said you don't want to do that not with this bike because the valves the valve springs uh will will jitter loose and fall into the pistons and then your motor is, is done for that's it no more motor you have to get a new motor so i did go into redline uh, i think at least once uh but i told him i'm not going to do that no more and then uh, i told him when i if i do go racing i'm gonna have to make sure i shift before i go to redline so i don't damage the motor that's more important to me so uh Now, what he said, we can also, I can always also send it, like, well, he can also put those parameters back so it stops me from going into red line. He says, uh, I don't get no extra horsepower and torque out of the red line. He says, it, it stops. He says, it's just the, the red line, it says, if you missed your shift, it gives you that little bit of room, but he says, you don't want to go into red line. He says, other bikes maybe, but not the, not the, the 07 and the 08, you don't want to do that. But yeah, this bike is coming along. Um, there's multiple people I could race. I did like did a kind of small race against a Kawas it was an 06 Kawasaki ZX10, uh, which is a 1000. But um, I don't want to consider it a race because me and him were not giving it our all. And I told him I didn't give him my all because he's not a Hayabusa. I was like, I put there's a lot of aftermarkets into my bike, and I think it's not fair to really go hard on my bike if i know that you know I, I, i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna beat them because there's more aftermarket parts in this bike a lot and there's a lot of money invested into this bike and it has nothing to do with oh it's an it's a kawasaki it's a 
uh, his skills. No, it's just I got a lot of aftermarket parts in this bike. So, and I want to make a list of how much parts that are aftermarket on this bike. Plus, not just the the parts, but the cost and what you can do with your bike. Now, if guys, if you guys want to know about you know the pricing and what I did to my bike. I mean, I'm gonna do it regardless, but you guys, you know, put it in the comments below. Like, yeah, that's that's a for sure. Uh, I do have a lot of uh, videos that I can make. Uh, a lot of people gave me gave me suggestions and about you know uh, helmet brands. What helmet brands? I can't tell them like which model to get, but I can tell you like what brands are good. Uh, and then it's basically just stay away from eBay and Amazon helmets. Uh, but anyways, thank you all. You guys helped me out to get to, I'm, I think I'm around almost 350 subscribers. I'm just going to round it off to that. But I'm a little bit under that. So yeah, um, thank you everybody for subscribing to my channel, putting likes, putting comments. Now we do, I do have a series which is called Straight Out Shoutouts. And what that is, is basically me giving people shoutouts that, that subscribe to my channel and put a lot of comments, put a lot of uh, likes on my videos, been following along, has been helping me out. And it's basically me, like showing everybody off who's been giving me help. On top of that, the, the subscribers who are YouTubers, who's also giving me a lot of support and a lot of help, um, I would give them a shout out and put their names on the screen. And to basically to tell people, hey, you know, subscribe to their channel or, or, or just check their channel out and see if you like their channel, their stuff um, and subscribe to their channel. So it's basically that. And now when um, I get, let's say, and just, just, just put like a fantasy number, I get a million subscribers and then I give people shout outs, right? I can charge for people wanting me to give them shout outs for their YouTube channel, right? Because that's, that's, I'm advertising people. I'm your advertiser. So when I give you a shout out in, in my video, I could charge $10 for that video. So yeah. Anyways guys, it's beautiful outside. I'm going to make one more video which is the review for the, the eBay brakes and rotors. Uh, and doing a review of it and if you guys should buy it or should you not buy it or if you do buy it what to expect out of it so if you guys want to watch that video <clears throat> it's going to be loaded up after this one so check that video out but everybody enjoy the day ride safe stay safe and i'll catch you guys on the next video